Oh, thank you. It's quite an honor, Jeff. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. What one person can you think of that you Oh, uh, <laughs> as far as a wrestler, probably uh, Rick Saunders, uh, 68 and 72 Olympics, silver medalist. You know, he, he just had a lifestyle that I kind of liked. And he had great moves. And, uh, and he had a beard, too. <laughs> so it was kind of... <laughs> Yeah, perfect fit. You know, he, he, he was a good guy. Did you have a wrestling hero growing up? No, that was, yeah, Rick Saunders, you know, no, that was the, the hero that I was looking up to, but basically, because I was in high school in 68, 72, right around there. Uh, as far as, you know, someone that helped me and stuff, is that what you're talking about? Okay. Uh, well, the Malsag workouts, I, I did them all the time, and I, I really appreciate all the coaches that put on those workouts, because I did Cerritos, El Camino, East LA. I went to all of them, because uh, we always had walk-ons at our school. We never had a coach. Gymnastics was a big factor in my wrestling career. Uh, in gymnastics, you have to do a move a thousand times. It has to be perfect uh, before you put it into your routine, and uh, it has to be smooth. And that's one thing I always liked about wrestling is that uh, you know a smart guy can beat a strong guy, but a slick guy can beat both. And uh, that's the kind of wrestler that I thought I wanted to be. And then, of course, in, in tribute to a, a gentleman, Jim Bryan, that passed away, Greg Cole, that ran a club also. Uh, he always said, uh, you may not be able to beat everyone, but you can pin anyone. So that might be a little higher than just smoothness. <laughs> and you had to embrace that. Huh? I had to embrace that, yeah. You mean the most memorable match? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it, it was actually a loss. <laughs> uh, at Chico State, uh, my senior year, towards the end of the season, uh, we challenged, and uh, Danny Eckley was wrestling 142s, and I was wrestling 34s, and he dropped down, and he beat me, and I was devastated. <laughs> It was because it was for a road trip to San Jose. Well, we got to San Jose. Da- Danny lost the match and got hurt against San Jose State. And uh, Armin Brad turned around and saw me that I was in, in the stands and asked me if I wanted to wrestle the Hayward tournament. You know that following day. And uh, so I dropped the eight pounds. I said yes. I I ran the streets of San Jose. I wrestled. Hayward Tournament won it, got outstanding wrestler. So I want to say thank you, Danny. <laughs> and uh, later on, I dropped to 126 and uh, won the Far Western Conference and uh, made it to the Nationals. So it was a blessing in a way. It worked out. For it worked out. Yeah. What got you started in wrestling? Uh, Probably the fact that I just wanted to do something. You know, I, I played football three years. I did res, uh, gymnastics four, and I wrestled for four. And I, I was just the perfect size for wrestling. So it was, I adapted real easy to wrestling. If not, I probably would have been a gang mem- member in, in El Monte. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's where we have tough guys. Thugs. <laughs> if you uh, were to start your wrestling coaching career over, would you do anything differently? No, I, I'm really happy to have served uh, 35 years in one school. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I don't think I would change anything at all. I, it's, it's made me who I am. And I'm, I like me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you like uh, people to remember about you before? 
uh, I would uh, like them to remember some of the things that I stood for. And, uh, you know, one is that uh, I, I have to look at my notes. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I always um, tried to lead and I, not to follow. So I did a lot of things my own way. Okay, uh, I live by the golden rule. <laughs> you know that one, I'm sure. I thought that was real important. And I, I, I try to honor everything that was right, the right thing to do all the time. I, I do still have one thing that I want people to remember me by. I, I picked up golfing and I would like to shoot under 85. <laughs> so I, I, I would say to everybody, you know, uh, just like in wrestling, uh, commit to your shot. Yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> You'll get there. Uh, yeah. Golf is anything like your uh, attention to detail and oh, technique and everything else. So. A absolutely. It's the second greatest sport in the world. <laughs> Well, okay. Victor. Thank you, Jeff. Oh, I, I do want to say one thing. Yeah, an outstanding moment. You didn't ask me this question. The outstanding moment in my career was in '89, uh, when we won second in state with two wrestlers and two champions. But the moment came, uh, and there was a, a new coach at Clovis West. You might remember him, Jeff Roberts. I think it, it was you. <laughs> And uh, 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 the, the moment came afterwards, okay? It was that we went to the local hotel bar and sat down, and just as we were about to order, uh, the whole crowd stood up. Everybody from the south, all my friends, all the coaches, and everybody from the north, because I went to Chico, stood up and applauded our coach and, and me. And, and that was the, the greatest moment of my career, unbelievably. <laughs> so, yeah, so. Okay. Thank you, Jeff.